Alright guys, so in this video I wanted to take a look at the Jack of All Treads tires and compare them to what we have in the base game. And we'll take a look at sort of the asphalt rating, the dirt and rock rating, and the mud and snow rating. We'll also take a little look at the hardness of the tires and also the width and take all of that into account. We'll also look at some weird things, um, maybe not weird, but some other things that I found, certain trucks getting taller tires and other trucks getting shorter tires than what they previously would have had otherwise. Also some trucks that only had one tire option before maybe getting multiple tire options. And then of those trucks, you know, what kind of uh, tires would probably be ideal or recommended to use. So. For the most part, across the board, if the truck has a unique set of tires, it's probably going to be a little bit better than other tires in that uh, category. But if you, for example, got an all-terrain tire, such as the Kenworth, and then you want to use a mud tire on the truck, more than likely. So the all-terrain might be slightly better than other all-terrains, but you probably still want to go with the mud tire. So. All right, with that in mind, um, sort of keep in mind that, again, these numbers are just on paper, and some of these vehicles will probably test out differently than just the pure numbers. So we'll leave it to, uh, to you guys to kind of figure out which ones you would want, but I will give you some of my opinions at the end for which tires I would choose. And for the most part, what we're talking about here is just the total ratings combined, so the asphalt, plus the dirt and rock, plus the mud and snow. But the most important, at least in my opinion, is the mud and snow, but then the dirt and rock is also pretty important. But the asphalt rating, I would say, is pretty much irrelevant, but that does sway some of the numbers, as sometimes it'll be like a 0.3, and then the other one will be 0.4 or 0.5, so it might be slightly higher. But first, let's take a look at every different tire that came into the game. So we'll start off with the highway tires. So these are the HMS-1s. These are the HMS-2s. And these are the HMS-3s. And then here we have the HMD-1s. HMD2s, HMD3s, here we have the HHD1s, HHD2s, and HHD3s. So that is it for the highway tires. I will break down the Scout ones later on. Also just wanted to mention some of these tires were actually pretty hard to find. I don't know how many vehicles they're on. I also forgot to mention that all of these start with JAT or Jack of All Treads. So these are the ATMS1s. These are the ATMS-2s and the ATMS-3s. And then here we have the ATMD-1s, ATMD-2s, and the ATMD-3s. Then here we have the ATHD-1s, ATHD-2s, and ATHD-3s. And then for off-road we have the OMS-1s, OMS-2s and OMS-3s. And then here we have the OMD-1s, OMD-2s and OMD-3s. And here we have the OHS-1s, OHS-2s and OHS-3s. OHD-1s, OHD-2s and OHD-3s. MMD1s, these are the first of the mud tires, the MMD2s, and the MMD3s, MHS1s, MHS2s, MHS3s, MHS4s, MHS5s, and MHS6s. And then here we have the MSH-1s, the MSH-2s, and the MSH-3s. And that is it for all of the big or main trucks, not counting the Scout trucks tires. There are no new tires for the chained tires. And then for Scouts, we have the HS-1s, 
and HS2s. These are for the highway. There is no all-terrain option for the scout trucks for new tires. So now we're jumping right into the off-road, which we have the OS1s, OS2s, OS3s, and OS4s. And then for the mud tires, we have the MS1s, the MS2s, and the MS3s. And again, there is no new chained tires for the DLC. I'll also leave a link to two different spreadsheets of people who have taken all of this information and put it in there. It'll also probably help you guys to understand some of the stuff that I'm saying because, like I said, some of these are just a combination of all of the numbers, which they are not weighted equally. Like I said, the highway, like asphalt rating is probably pretty much irrelevant, so that does throw off some of the ratings, so I suggest you check it out yourself. But the highway tires are basically all the same, so they are minus 0.1 in dirt and rock across the board, and plus 0.1 in mud and snow pretty much across the board as well. So they're slightly wider in both the front and the rear. They have the same hardness, however the HHDs are slightly thinner both the front and the rear. So if you were going to just select the best tires in terms of pure mud ratings out of the highway class, the UHD ones, HMD ones, JAT HMS ones and threes, and JAT HMD ones and threes, and JAT HHD ones and threes, all have a rating of 0.4 each, which is the highest. And then for the all-terrain, the 2s and the 3s for each category have 0.1 more than the 1s. So if you're going to choose between the 1s, 2s, or 3s in most of those, you basically just want to choose 2s or 3s because they're a little bit higher. Um, and all the base game tires, excluding unique tires or semi-unique tires, and what I mean by that is tires that are for one truck or maybe two trucks. So such as the ANKO tires for the ANK and the ANK civilian. So they're, you know, pretty unique, maybe not like perfectly unique, like to one specific truck. So in this case, it would be excluding the Pike, the Croc, the Kenworth, and the Sprinter. So all base game are average or stiff, and the DLC are all stiff. So the best in terms of mud rating in the all-terrain class is the JAT ATMS 3s and the JAT ATMD 3s and the JAT ATHD 3s, all of which are at 1.4 each. And the best in the base game in all-terrains is 1.2. So you do get a little bit of a bump there if you're in the all-terrains. As for off-road, the OHS 1s and 2s are worse than the OHS base games by 0.1 and 0.2 for the ones and the twos. Um, keep in mind this is just the total if you added it all up so they're, again they're not equal across the board but just is how I uh, did this little part of it. And there is no base game threes. The OHDs are tied with the ones and the twos base game and the threes are worse by 0.1. They have the same hardness with two of them at stiff and two of them at average and the base game and the DLC tires have the same hardness at average and stiff. So other than unique or semi-unique tires, the best tires in mud ratings in the off-road category are still the UOD2s, which are a base game tire at 1.9, and OHD1s also at 1.9. Then for mud, we got the MHS 1s, 2s, and 3s are all the same with total values. The hardness for both of these are the same on the DLC tires at average and soft. And the thickness goes from 0.65 and 0.84, there's a little bit of difference between the 1s or the 2s and 3s, to 0.79. So the MHS 1s get thicker and the 2s and 3s get thinner. The MSH 1s and 2s are the same in the total value and the 3s are better by 0.1. So also the thickness goes from 0.78 to 0.95 on the threes. So the basically the really big trucks like the uh, the Cat 745C or the uh, Azov Antarctic stuff like that they use those really big tires. Those ones got a little bit of a buff. So the threes are slightly better 
but they're also a much thicker tire. So the best tires for mud ratings, other than unique or semi-unique in this category, are the MSH2s at 3.2 per base game, and the JAT MSH2s at 3.2, and then let's go to Scouts. So the HS have the same total value as the JAT HS ones, but the JAT HS2s are better, actually, by 0.3. The best in terms of mud rating is HS1s, the base game, at 0.4. The width goes from 0.509 base game to 0.57, so you're gaining quite a bit with the width. And the new tires have the same hardness, which is set at Scout Stiff. For Scouts, the all-terrain, there is no new options, which I showed you guys earlier when we went over all of the options. So we'll skip this one. And then for the off-road portion, OS1s and JAT OS1s are identical. The best in terms of mud rating, excluding the unique or semi-unique vehicles, are everything but the JAT OS3s, because they're all 1.2, except for that one, they're 1.1. And the width goes from 0.66 to 0.76, so slightly thicker again. The hardness is set to Scout Default for both the base game and DLC tires. And then lastly we'll do the Scout Mud tires. So the base game MS1s are actually 0.1 better, again this is just total value, than the JAT MS1s. Both have soft tires, or soft Scout actually, but the width it goes from 0.797 up to 0.93, so a huge boost in the width of the tires. The best in terms of mud ratings in the Scout class in the mud category, other than unique or semi-unique tires, are the JAT MS3s at 2.5, and the hardness is set to Scout Soft. And then I want to show you guys a couple of uh, sort of weird things we found. This isn't exactly weird, but some trucks like this Scout 800 here, have really wide set tires now, which should help with stability. I mean, if you see this, almost half of the tire is sticking out outside the truck now. So that should definitely help. And there are quite a few of them. So the CK1500, this one, it doesn't stick out quite as far, but it definitely sticks out further than it did before. So that should help with stability with a lot of those ones as well. Also should help with traction just having a wider tire. And then I wanted to compare these. So these are Zix 566As. And the biggest mud tire you could previously get was this one right here, which was 43. If you look at it compared to these, this is the 43 inch mud tire. This is the stock Zix 566A tire. And these are 47s. 47s were the biggest tire you could get on there. So these are apparently 47s, but it's weird. It doesn't change the height of the truck, or at least not much. You would think it'd be a lot more noticeable than that if it was four inches. So I'm not sure what exactly is going on. And then for the 605R, which used to only have one option for tires, they do have multiple tire options, but actually they lose seven inches. So that is a big oof guys. And then here's another one. This is the Crocodile. So previously this one had 42s everywhere, but the biggest mud tires you could get were 41s right here. But you can now get 42s. So you gain one inch with the Crocodile as well. So for most trucks, like I said at the beginning of this, that have unique tires such as the Tuz, you're going to want to keep these normal Tuz tires. These things have an 8.0 mud rating. The rest of these don't even compare. These MSH1s have a rating of 3 in the mud, and the 2s have 3.2, and the 3s are 3.1. So you can use these other tires. They are wider than these, but in this case, with the, uh, the difference of three to eight, um, you're gonna wanna keep these. And then same with the Zix 605R, you're gonna wanna keep those. The Zix 605, or Zix 605R base tires are three. And then if you wanted to change it, you could get three, 3.1 or 3.2. So you could slightly improve, but 
you're going to take a 7 inch hit on the size of the tires. So I haven't got through looking at all of the trucks, but so far the Kirovitz K7M, the Cat TH357, the Burlak 6x6, and the GMC Brigader 8000 do not have any of the DLC tires. That There might be more trucks than that, but like I said, I haven't gotten through all of them. But if you guys do find one, put it in the comments down below. So I would say the biggest takeaway from this is that the Scouts got a huge buff. The previous Scouts' best tires, um, as far as non-unique or even semi-unique tires, are 1.6. So the base tire was 1.6 in the mud, and these new ones are 2.5. So that is a huge boost just in the rating. And then you add in the factor of the width, which went from 0.797 up to 0.93. So they got a lot wider and they got a lot better in the mud. And that, that should add some stability, also better grip, and then just, yeah, the pure mud rating. The, a lot of the Scout tires are going to be way better and maybe even more stable, such as this Scout 800, which is famously tippy. And as I say that, I almost flip. Overall, I think that the new tires are going to be worth it for most players. I think they will be an improvement pretty much across the board. But this will have to be uh, tested over and over, you know, with multiple different vehicles and different tires to actually see which tires do come out on top. But if I had to take a guess, I would probably say the new tires will do better than the old ones. There are some which some categories which the old ones might have better ratings, such as the UOD2s. But the new tires are wider, even though they have less mud. I think the UOD2s might be the only one that you may want to stick with. I think pretty much across the board after that, you're going to probably want to go with new tires um, for most trucks. Again, unless they have unique tires, so P16, CAT 770G, uh, Pacific P512PF, Zix 605R, the 612H Mastodon. Um, I probably missed a few in there, but some of those trucks, you're not going to want to change the tires, even though it's kind of cool to have more options. So unless you don't care about the performance as much, you're going to want to keep the, the unique tire because that's probably better. So for Scout vehicles, the recommended tire would be the JAT MS3s. For the really heavy trucks, the recommended tire would be the JAT MSH2s, which have the exact same ratings as the normal MSH2s, but they are slightly wider. Then for the slightly smaller, so maybe off-road, maybe still in the heavy class trucks, I would recommend the JAT MHS4s. The MHS2s before had a mud rating of 2, but the MHS4s have a mud rating of 2.6, so you're slightly buffed there. You're slightly lower on rocks, and then slightly lower on asphalt as well, but in my opinion, the mud or snow is probably beneficial. This is one where the thickness did go down by five hundredths. And then for the off-road tires, I would stick with the UOD2s, which have a 3 and a 1.9 in mud. All of the other new tires have either a 1.3, 1.6, or 1.7 in mud, so you're down 0.2. So there are certain parts where they're up by 0.2 in the rock slash dirt area, but I wouldn't take that trade-off, probably. The thickness also went up a little bit, so that's where maybe that plays into it. But I would guess the UOD2s would come out on top. And then for the all-terrains, I'd recommend going with either the ATMS3s, the ATMD3s, or the ATHD3s, which all have the highest rating of 1.4 in mud. And then for the highway tires, it's kind of all the same. They're very similar because most of them are either 0.3 or 0.4 in mud almost across the board. The, the base game trucks are 0.2 in 0.4, so there is a slight difference there. And then for the dirt slash rock, they are all 0.9 to 1 to 1.1. So it's kind of a trade-off. Most of their rating is in the asphalt, which is obviously 
makes sense for the highway tire. But the thickness did go up on the DLC tires, so, so if I had to recommend one, I would probably do the HMD ones, which are the same mud rating as the base game trucks, same rock and ground, and same asphalt, but they are slightly thicker. So that would probably be the best tire option for highways. So let me know in the comments down below, which tires are you guys most excited to try out? And also hopefully you guys learned something today, but that will be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.